Chairman, sir, I would have liked to start my speech in my own style. But because some members have become so panicky that they decided to quote me out of context, I will therefore start by dealing with them briefly and precisely. <laughs> the Honorable Kanye Hamba and the Honorable Zibiwe <laughs> quoted me as having said. <laughs> They are, very, they are very similar. Kazi Bue. Kazi Bue. Quoted me as he said in 1966. That I did not believe in democracy. And that it was rubbish. But they quoted me completely out of context. 1966 was a year of Christ. In London, we agreed on a constitution which provided for the rules of the game. But in that year, other groups had decided not to follow the rules of the game. I mean, if you are playing football and somebody doesn't follow the rule of the game, you will, of course, throw the ball out of the pitch out of anger. Therefore, I will say, I confirm to them and to this house that yes, I have changed. I have changed. And the very foundation of party democracy is to provide for change because change is a fundamental part of human nature. In the Bible, sir, there was a one man called Saul. Saul later on turned into Paul. And no other person in the world has spread Christianity as did Paul. So change is good. All the disciples of Jesus Christ St. Peter, St. Andrew, St. John, St. Luke, all these people were changed from Judaism to Christianity. They changed. Yeah. Sir, coming closer home here, the Honorable Kazibwe was in DP. She changed against DP now and against the parties to NRM. The Honorable Rukunda. Honorable Vidani Sali, Honorable Kibe Jinja, all have changed from UPC against parties, and they are now for one party system called NRM. They have changed. <laughs> Sir, above all, His Excellency the President, Lieutenant General Museveni, has not only changed, he has gone through a metamorphosis. <laughs> He was in DP first, then in UPC, then in Prodasa, UNLF, UPM, NRM, I don't know what next. <laughs> but according to his reference, Adokonekion must not change. I have changed, sir, because I have grown. And I want Kanyahamba and Kazibwe to grow and to change. <laughs> when, we made, when we made this statement, there was a crisis. And the Honorable Vice President Kazibwe says she was still in primary. Now she's grown up, she's many babies. I want to ask her how she got them. But I want her to change for the well-being of our children. <laughs> but why should Bagana not work with UPSO and other parties? <laughs> Nearly all these parties were formed by Bagana themselves. UPC was formed by Muganda called Musazi. 
And upon my hand there was our Secretary General. And I joined it as a young boy at Budo. I think our problem here and what is making us fail today is that we are concentrated on finding who is right, who is wrong, instead of finding what is right and what is wrong. We thought that I would come here to create new ground for governance. I didn't know that we were coming to all, here to open all wounds. But we are now opening even all scars. <laughs> UPC is very bad because forced Kabaki to exile, they did not bring back the body, and then they did not even consult the Baganda. Then later on, we have the shrines at Namugongo. Those shrines were not built in honor of the performance of multi parties. But the Baganda still love their Kabakas in spite of all that. When Kewewa, who succeeded Mwanga, was overthrown after having been powerful six days only. He was succeeded by his brother, Kalema. To make sure that nobody would overthrow him, because to overthrow a Kabak in Bukane, you need to have a prince to replace him. Kalema collected all the princes and princes of Bukane and burnt them alive, just to guarantee that nobody would overthrow him. But still, the Baganda love the Kabaka very much. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those who are today saying that only they love the Kabaka have abandoned the Kabaka in midstream. They say he must work with them because they made him a king. But he's swinging in the cloud, a king without a kingdom. A king without a kingdom. How can there be a king without a king? That's a new phenomenon, a fundamental change. Kabwejele <laughs> said we must put NRM in the constitution because it's homegrown. It's not brought from outside like other systems, like multi parties. Sir, this statement is from a university lecture. <laughs> but it's meant for the consumption of those who have not opened any book. This NRM system, this thing called RC system, is not grown in Uganda. Long time ago, India adopted a system called the Panchayat which is now the RC system, we are supposed to have grown here locally. <laughs> the Jews in Palestine have got the kibbutz, which is now being copied as a freshly grown mushroom of Uganda. <laughs> then we had the ten cell, ten cell system in Tanzania. I was with the seven in Tanzania for nine years in exile, and we lived on the ten cell system with the UNLF brought here. Now we are being told by a professor that is a homegrown thing which must be inserted in the Constitution. What we are saying is that we want multi-party system of government because it has been tried the world over. It has not been perfected yet, but it is so far the best system the one over. No question about it. No question about it. When you want to borrow more money, 
we run to borrow money from a country with a multi party system. And we were lucky. We are lucky. The Honorable Karohanga made quotations today. He spent the whole time quoting others. He didn't make any speech. <laughs> He said, he said, Abraham Lincoln said, we want government of the people, for the people and by the people. And it has been repeated by Kazibwe. Honorable Kazibwe, Vice President, excellent. <laughs> but when he did that, he should have continued to say the ultimate system which came out of that speech, the famous speech. was a multi-party system for the United States of America, not a movement system. <laughs> and he made himself more funny. He said, in America, there's one state called Nebraska, which has not adopted a multi-party system, so we must follow Nebraska. One state has opted for non-multi-party system out of 50 states. He wants us to follow one example out of 50. <laughs> I think oh, no, no. I'm great. The honourable member is not in business. You lose money very fast. <laughs> the main charge which has been brought against parties is that it brings wars. It brings fighting, chaos. I would ask what chaos have we seen here caused by multi parties? Only one. The war in Luero. <laughs> and the war, war in Luero was caused by those people who are now shouting about NRM. <laughs> we want competition because it's cheap and it produces the best material. Multi party system does not preclude personal quality. In fact, if anything, if you are going to be adopted as a candidate for a party, you must have very high quality. Because no political party will want to put up a candidate who cannot win the constituency. Nobody would like to do that. So they get the best possible and put him against the others. If you say this is free for all thing is the best. We have here, just outside the town, a constituency for this assembly where Honorable Mukwanya stood against a very distinguished lawyer, Kasule, in an area where people are highly enlightened. But they elected Mukwanya. <laughs> Mukwanya had not made a speech in NRC for five years. <laughs> he was elected here under NRM, he made only one speech and disappeared even up to tonight. <laughs> because he can't follow the proceedings of this house. <laughs> the core of the debate is this, sir. The core of the debate is this. We want NRM to agree to become a political party, which it is now, to remove itself from using public funds for its own benefit, and then to compete with the other political parties from time to time. But what do we hear? NRM, we are saying there is a one girl in the village, and all the boys want that girl. <coughs> Let us go together and let the girl see us dancing and then she chooses. NRM says, no, me, I'm so handsome that I will not go and dance with you. You go and dance and the girl will choose me. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, when the Lake Victoria was created, the fishes went there first. Then the frogs followed and they grew there. 
and then crocodile also went, snakes also went. Outside there were hippos, buffaloes, but one day fire came and swept the shores of the Victoria. And the hippo ran for refuge into, into, into Victoria. Having reached there because of his size, he said, now everybody under me, you are all hippos. <laughs> The tilapia said, I cannot be a hippo. You can obviously see. I'm not a hippo. Say, hey, you're a hippo. You're still growing. <laughs> According to the hippo, even a turtle is a hippo. Sir, the so-called referendum is ridiculous. NRM comes to power, ties the hands of the multi-parties for nine years, breaks up their meetings, rushes them, harasses them, and then says, we go to the referendum. Who is so stupid I not to know what we are talking about? The story of the doctor, that, do, that the doctor takes somebody who is alive to a mortuary, has been told many times. But I want to say that unfortunately, the doctor himself is a patient. <laughs> Bidani says NRM has been leveling the ground by stopping others from participating, stopping others from addressing rallies. The ground which he thinks is level, the roughest political ground I've seen. <laughs> Sir, the referendum is exclusive. It is says that during the time that the movement is in power, the parties must go silent. Otherwise, they must go silent. When the parties are in, pa in, in power, then the movement must go. We are saying let an M come and stand with us. If they win the election, which they should win because they say they are perfect, they are not sectarian, they are not stolen money, <laughs> then we will support them for five years. After five years, we go back to election. We provide for this. Katurabe, Katurabe, told us, listen to the people, listen to the voice of the people. Yeah, I'm speaking for the people of Maruzi. These are people, they are not cows. <laughs> You know, it's difficult for some of us to understand why Katrebe to say we should listen to the voice of the people. In our court, they used to call their king Rubabanzi, the ruler of the whole world. To Munyankore, Ankore was the whole world. <laughs> so he thinks when I'm speaking for Maruzi, I'm not speaking for the people. <laughs> Finally, finally, I have heard with a great surprise the statement made by my friend, long-term friend, Honorable Bidani Sali, who attacked the legislators from Acholi for not doing much to stop rebellion in Acholi. And this has been hard on. You attacked all of us. But the truth is that the responsibility for maintaining law and order is that of the executive, not the legislature. The, legisl the legis executive must account to the legislature, to parliament, if they have failed. If these people undertake the work that Bidani Sale wants them to undertake, then they cannot be accounted to. They will become part of the operators. So that was unfair. If NRM has failed to control the rebellion, let it say so. Then Bidan Sari decided to threaten us. The very honorable Bidan Sari decided to threaten us. He said, in America, if you join the Communist Party, you lose your rights. And those who walk out will be treated like the Communists of America. I want to say 
loud and clear tonight that nobody will intimidate me in submitting into the forces of evil. I stood against the colonial power and I never submitted. And nobody is going to intimidate me or buy me into submission. <laughs> my instructions are clear from Marus, <laughs> not from Barara or elsewhere. <laughs> that if the assembly insists on putting something which they know is not for the best interest of the country, I should walk out. And I'm going to walk out in broad light when we can be done. Sir, in conclusion, my judgment, my judgment is that this constitution which we are making has lost the trend. It's no longer for consensus, and it's going to last only about five years. <laughs> and it will last only for about five years. Because it has failed, it has failed to achieve the very purpose for which we are called here, the chairman. I support the motion.